I'm going to show you how to do a cash budget using the 2014 final exam as an example. Here it is here. So it's Beverly Jones commenced our own business. Here are the details. What I've got is a cash budget set up already where we're going to go. I've um, put in some data initially and I'll explain that as I go through. There's my collections this accounts receivable. Um, and this is the budget I'm going to create. I've got some information there already. And what I've got here is that answers. I'm going to try and end up with this. This is available from the TQA site and examiner's report. So um, that's something that you can check all your answers with that you do um, from past exam questions. So let's make a start. So the first thing here, the cash balance account uh, was $6,000. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through all of these um, dot point, dot point, dot point by dot point to ensure that I tick everything off as I go along so I don't miss anything. That's an important bit. So let's just put the $6,000 in first. So <clears throat> that's what I put in there. My opening bank balance is $6,000. Ignore these for now because that's where I've set up the spreadsheet just to work and all the formulas are already there working for me. First thing I need to do though is to um, sort out my collections from accounts receivable. And that's my next item here. Let me explain. 70% is paid in the first month, but we receive a 5% discount for paying early. 28% is paid the following month, that's the second month. And in this example, 2% is never collected, and they're classified as bad. So we never get them back. So all up, we only get 98% back. Here you see that the information that's given, 20,000 of credit sales in September, October, November, and so forth. And that information is already here that I've put in. What I've got to do now is to calculate how much we're going to get back each month. So let's make a start. September, one month after is October. We are dealing with October, November, December. So in this instance, I've got to multiply this figure um, by uh, this adjusted figure. So it's 70%, and of that, 5% discount we get. So I've calculated that to be an adjusted figure of 66.5%. So I click on that and click enter and for November I'm going to get the second month after that um, so I'm going to multiply the 20,000 by the 28% the that we collect so I've done it for September's credit sales I'm just going to receive 13 free there in November 5,600 so I'm going to keep going and do that for you while you wait okay I've done those little um, additions there for you already. So for October, 15,000, they were paid in the first instance uh, in November and December, and November's was paid, we only calculate for one month there because we're only, we're only calculating for October, November and December. And of course the December's figures, they won't get collected until January, but we're only calculating our budget until then. You notice that uh, these amounts have been added up and these will appear in our budget so that 13.3 I've already linked it up is there so that's where we must put them. All right. So what we've done is the first item or the second two dot points here this one and that one so we can cross them off. Now we're going to deal with credit purchases you can see here in September was 20,000 and it says that we usually pay one month after and we get a 10% discount. So how I've set this up, so September, I'm going to pay then October, right, and I'm just going to put that there, 20,000 multiplied by 90%. Uh, so if we're going to get a 10% discount, we only pay 90%. So I'll put that in and so on. Okay, I've done all the accounts payable. Let's deal with the cash purchases. Well, they're down here. I'm still going through dot point by dot point. Beverly has cash drawings of 450 each month. So let's put those in. And simply what you do, you go to the drawings column here, 450, put that in, drag it across. That's 450 a month. So I've done that one now. Now I've got to deal with all these items in this table. So cash sales, 
were here as follows. They happen on the month, so let's put those in. And they obviously I was sued. And you can see that she started up her business and increased her level of sales throughout the month or throughout that period. But cash purchases, we've got to put those in. We'll put them here. So that's going okay. Um, we've done that column and that column, but now here's a complication. We've got to take account of uh, these things called depreciation. For your information, all depreciated uh, depreciated items are non-cash items and need to be taken away from these operating expenses. So the operating expenses in cash terms is two thousand minus. 500 which is 1500 let's go and put that in and so on okay I've put uh, the operating expenses in drawings are in I'm um, almost finished GST liability it only gets paid every three months and this time in de in December so I'm going to put that in $1200 it goes there so I've ticked off all of these items so now I'm finished now let's have a look at the cash budget and how that's worked my total receipts of those two that plus that equals that that total estimated payments is made up of all these added up you notice earlier that my opening bank balance that's always given that six thousand dollars but look how did I arrive at this minus four six fifty well I take all my money coming in, estimated receipts 18.3, and I've taken away these estimated payments of 22.950. So you can see that's bigger than that, and therefore we have a minus figure. So our, our cash balance has gone down. Now that closing figure there is the opening figure for the next month, and we go through the same process. You'll note the estimated receipts were much higher because our business got going. A lot of people were coming to our shop. So 30,000 odd take away estimated payments so um, that taken away from that gives us 18,000 and you add that to the opening bank balance we've got 19,000 so we're looking better that's opening bank, bank, bank balance for the next month and similarly we had a pretty good month again for December receipts minus your payments and we ended up with that excess add those two together and we have got a closing bank balance of 38,525 Let's just see whether I've done it right. I go to the answers, and sure enough, I have completed the exercise. Hopefully, that's been useful to you.